In the decade following the Civil War, people of all creeds and colors were part of the West. The following is a story about two of those people. <laughs> this is it. Oh, this is cozy. Sure is a pretty place. <laughs> no, I haven't been this drunk in months. <laughs> <laughs> Put wood in fire, right? Put wood Dry your clothes. Huh? Okay. You're <laughs> a <laughs> bad man, or but that's all right. I am a bad woman. Shh. Shh. Oh. Why you and your black friend come to La Union? Who said anything about him being my friend? We just ride together. Road together, that is. <laughs> We're following somebody. A man in a wagon. You find him, yes? I find him, yes. And you kill him, yes? I kill him, no. I, I just bought him a drink. This didn't seem to be worth it, I mean. <laughs> I don't know, I, I'm getting kind of tired of this business, I guess. <laughs> anyway, bought him a drink, sent him on his way. He's probably about halfway down into your country by now. And your uh, partner? Well, he well, followed up, I guess. He yelled at you. Mucho angry in La Cantina. <laughs> yeah, he was burned, all right. <laughs> he, he was... <laughs> he was really burned, but I can't say I blame him. That fellow was worth $1,000 to us alive. <laughs> now... Now... He'll never find them without me. <laughs> but let's not talk of Murphy. Murphy? Shh! Be quiet. You make too much noise. So quiet. <laughs> Who is it? Well, as far as I can tell, it's an unprovoked attack by that stove. <laughs> Madre de Dios, perdóname. Santa Maria, Madre de Dios, perdóname. Santa Maria, perdóname. I'll keep you alive. Margarita, open this door. Margarita. Hold it. Right there. Now you turn around. Come up here real close. Because I want to get me a good look at the bravest man in town. <laughs> now, uh, I'm sure there's a logical explanation of this whole thing. If we could just go get the sheriff, we'll have a little talk. Again. Well, you got him, and we're talking. Now you start walking. Oh, what's the charge? Let's start with indecent. Where'd you come from? I heard shooting. Uh, somebody put bullets in the stove. Is that a fact? 
Look, I'm going down to Mexico to get Ma. Come on. I tell you flat out, boy, you ride alone. Okay, I'll look in on you when I get back. Santa Lucia, Port Bonnet. Well, come on. your chops. That man can shoot. Well, that's what you're here for. Knows me. He don't know you. Well, I bought him a drink. Knows you. Valley narrows up here ways. My thoughts is we ride ahead, then you go on down. And do what? Ask him for a drink of water or something. Oh, he'll never swallow that. He will if you're thirsty enough. with the Apaches, and you can't come up with something better than that. What's the matter? You worried? Oh, he needs a little time for you to get a gun to his ear. And remember, you need him alive. You don't get paid for no cops. <laughs> Got in that wagon. Rifles, maybe. Something on the sour side of the law. I'm not sure there isn't some law against us hunting down here. I don't expect to get caught, do you? He's looking for something. Yeah, I better get down there. Look, boy. Don't you get buck fever. You see him going for his gun. Why, Captain, does you mean to tell me you can't handle this alone? Brand new. Every one. The same kind the army uses. Put it on a seat here. I'll get this tarp off. These are the finest guns money can buy. No los llevamos por nada. Looks like market day. This kind of complicates things, doesn't it? I should have taken him myself when he made his first camp, instead of messing around that sinkhole with you and that crazy stove. Tell me more. I don't know what you're talking about. You sicked that girl on me, and you loaded that stove. Did I? You knew all the time she was a chef's girlfriend. Are you accusing me of tricking you? I thought there was something convenient about you showing up like that. Hold it. He comes out on the short end of this. We got his fight. They don't know we exist. That's my money they're shooting at. Half of it is yours. But in protect your half.
So we lose, huh? He's dead and we lose. It ain't a total loss. What do you got there? Gold. Mexican peso. Must be four or five thousand dollars in here. I wonder who they belong to. Give you one guess. I don't like what I'm thinking about what you're thinking. Well, you kind of testy, ain't you, old man? Didn't want to come down here in the first place. But I did come, and I'm here. Our deal was him. It died when he died, along with the bounty. Are you trying to tell me you're not fixing to share that money? I found it. It's mine. We both found it. I don't care who picked it up. It belongs to both of us. Federales. Well, where are you going? We ain't done nothing. You explain that to them. to quit, probably. Those weren't our rifles! I don't even believe you. Si se quedan aquí, morirán. No se pueden escapar. Si no mueren a balazas, 
Morirán por falta de agua. What's he saying? All I got was agua. Water. Can't take two steps in this place without bringing the whole mountain down around you. Then come up with something. Well, you can do what you want. I'm going to try to talk my way out of it. Hey! Hey, friends! Uh, amigos! Hey! Let's talk! Understand it, Lieutenant. You see, we're just passing through. We had nothing to do with it. Now we didn't have anything to do with that gold. We didn't know what the hell was going on. Look, uh, Lieutenant. Let me explain. Lieutenant. Hey, Lieutenant. You heard the man. He's telling the truth. He was just passing through. Los acusados huyeron cuando llegué con mi patrulla. Los perseguimos hasta el arroyo donde estuvieron combatiéndonos. Tuve que convencerlos a que se rindieran. I got a feeling this ain't no joke. When you gonna start talking your way out of here? Seems I find somebody speaks my lingo. We ain't got that much time. Presento a la corte como evidencia que los prisioneros vendían armamentos a los enemigos de la república. We were better off on that hill, first and all. I was better off before I ever laid my eyes on you. Siento decirles que esta corte tiene no más remedio que imponer la pena de muerte. Esta corte los haya culpables con traición a la República de México. Y la sentencia es de ser fusilados. La sentencia será ejecutada mañana en la mañana, a conveniencia del comandante. Attention! I guess it's over. Pause well, two. I got one word. Muerte. Dead? Hold it in, hold it Hey, you! Uh, caliente! How do you see what's happening? Mañana a las ocho. This is crazy! We didn't have anything to do with those rifles! What kind of a trial is this? When do we get a chance to talk? Figures. It don't matter none. It's the bug's home, not mine. I'm just passing through. I can't believe it. What am I doing in this dung hill of a town? Facing a fine squad, same as me. Earl Corey, riding with a black bounty hunter. You should have spoke up at the trial. Should have told him he was quality. Should have told him he was master of a big plantation. Be quiet. They're bound to use silver rifles for sure. The one solace I got in all this is that you're going too. I only hope they take you first, because it would pleasure me real fine to watch you go. <laughs> Captain, you just know quality's going first. I tell you one thing. 
by some miracle we ever get out of this alive, I'm going to take off so fast you won't be able to see my dust. We have taken our last ride together. I have had you right up to here. Man, just hearing you say that makes me feel good. And if for some reason you changes your mind, it'll be my dust you're looking at. Because I don't know you nothing. Well, at least we agree on something. through that war, I never got a scratch on me. I was in every battle in Virginia, North Carolina, South Carolina, Georgia, Tennessee. Everybody used to say, boy, I wish I had some of Captain Corey's luck. <laughs> they were the lucky ones, the ones that died on the field of honor. <laughs> they weren't lined up against some bloody wall and shot down like dogs. Corey? What? I don't know how, but maybe there's a way out of here for us. Maybe we can do something. We're gonna be executed at 8 o'clock in the morning. The only thing we can do is make sure we go out like men. Hey, maybe you could sing one of them songs for me. You know the kind that I used to hear on a soft summer night, drifting up from the slaves' quarters? I've almost forgotten how. Hey, maybe you can give them one of them rebel yells like you used to during the war. Curl that hair real good. <laughs> you know? I used to go to sleep sometimes, just wondering, how did them slaves learn all those songs? They got night crawlers in this place. You, come a little closer, you'll hear better. It's time for us to have a little talk. He talks English. Well, I hoped you might carelessly speak of the gold. Gold? What gold? This part of my country is known for rich soil. Unfortunately, nobody yet has grown gold pesos. They could turn me on a spit and I wouldn't admit nothing to you. Now take it easy. This ain't official. He wouldn't come pussyfooting around here at night. I found this near the wagon. All right, there was gold. What about it? I have a proposition to make that would be beneficial to all of us. I wouldn't trust them in a pine box. In exchange for the gold, I will give you your freedom. Keep going. I can guarantee nothing. There is a lot of risk for me. Appearances must be maintained. But we have nothing to lose and a lot to gain. True? Lieutenant, we are about to be shot in six hours. Now, there's a point to your story. Please get to it. I have made arrangements for one of you to escape. When that one brings the gold back to me, then I will make the same arrangements for the other one. <laughs> How do we know you'll keep your end of the bargain? Oh, but gentlemen, we must trust each other. After all, what assurance do I have that the one I will let go free will come back to free his partner? There are a lot of people that would leave a comrade to die without batting an eyelash. That's hard to believe. What a terrible thing to do. What about it? What choice do we have? We do it your way. Take it. Trust one another, don't we? All at work. You will pray. Very funny. I 
told them you have returned to God. Soon a guard will take one of you to communion. As you walk under the arch, you will find a hole in the shadows. A hole? Well, a rifle would be too difficult to explain. Coupled by surprise, a horse should be as effective a weapon. Then around the corner, the horse will be waiting. How will I get out of town? Wait a minute. What you mean, how are you gonna get out of town? What's the matter? Are you afraid I couldn't find my way back? I figure we stand a better chance if I go. I rode this country before. No the rifts in gullies. Best chance of being spied out. I know you'd be harder to find in the dark, boy, but I'm the one that hid the gold and I know where I hid it. I know it as well as you. Maybe better. I saw you hide it. You're lying. Yeah, I saw you hide it and I moved it. <laughs> now I know you're lying. Oh, I wouldn't lie. Not about this. And I marked it sharp in my mind exactly where I hid it. I can go right there and lay my hands on it and be back here for you with an hour to spare. Don't believe him. I don't. <laughs> Hey, you! Who goes? The one who knows where the gold is. Guardias. El Blanco será el primero, como cortesía. Sí, mi teniente. We have to trust each other, do we? Where's the gold? Don't worry, I'll find it. You want my boots? Si, sí, senor. Go on. Get out of here. Senor. Usted no podrá usarlas más. Después de que los fusilen los soldados, se los quitarán. Sorry. I'm gonna need these boots. And not to walk to a fire squad with neither. No comprendo, senor. I ain't. Me. Bang, no. El teniente. No sabe. Ay, sabe. 
Bet, Lieutenant, you muerto. Stick around, young man. You might just get these boots. If you work for them. Where is it? Well, to tell you the truth, I don't know. It's not where I put it. You think I'm gonna accept this and let you ride up north? I turned over every rock on the hill. Maybe you didn't move it like you said. Get it. Listen, you throw back from a water dog? I don't know where it is. So if you want to use that thing, just go ahead. encontraron entre las piedras mi general vimos al negro escondiéndolo allí they said the black one hit it they watch him do it are you sure oh yeah very sure aquí tiene usted general montense si sí, mi general For their, for their offenses against our government. Same as yours. And now I return to your country? You saved me a trip back by picking up the gold yourself. And are you worrying about your friend? Maybe. You were an officer as I am. Why are you riding with him? Maybe it's he that rides with me. It's an unusual pair. We work together, period. Then he's not your friend. What we are is our business. If that bothers you, why don't you come out and say it nice and plain? Well, if you pardon me for saying so, I feel that the black one would have ridden straight to the border and then returned some other day for the gold. He would have left you right here, a permanent president of E.R. I've given that matter a lot of thought. I know he looks out for himself, but... When I tell a man I'm gonna do something, whether it's help him or kill him, I don't disappoint him. Of course. What a difference. Obviously, you're a man of breeding. Don't you know this is why I chose you to go? Is that why you followed me? After all, it was a lot of money. I will take care of your friend. You have my word as a gentleman. As one gentleman to another. 
Yuri first. Vamos. Have you lost your way? No. But what did you lose? Oh, the bandidos. Well, they tried to escape. Well, surely you're not concerned about the lives of two worthless bandidos, are you? I'm concerned that a certain gentleman might forget his half of a certain understanding. You don't trust me? I might have. Two gunshots ago. Well, you, you can't return back to Villar. This will be a hornet's nest. That's my lookout. It's my worry, too. I must handle things my way. We don't have all that much time. Come on, let's go. Your horse tires easily. Oh, there's lots of time. It's only a quarter past the hour of seven. Don't worry, nothing's gonna happen to your friend. There's nothing said about him being my friend. Well, as you can see, it's very dangerous. Well, if you still wish to go ahead with his fool's errands, then I suggest that you circle around and come in from the east. That will bring you in behind the stables. There is a good place of concealment. There you can...
¡Démela! ¡Son mías! ¡Pero dónde you get these? ¡No las robé! ¡Él me las dio! ¡No, no, look, I don't give a darn about the boots! You can have them! I just want to know about the fella! ¡Is he dead? ¡No las robé! ¡The black man! ¡Dámela! ¡Dios, señor! ¡The black man! ¡Is he dead? ¡Dámela, señor! ¡Look, look! ¡Dámela! ¡Americano! ¡Ah, es muerto! Somebody that's believing something that isn't true. Don't say it unless you want to die speaking a lie. I don't intend to do either. I did all I agreed to do down there and considerable more. You'd best stand up. I don't blame you for being a rascal the way things turned out. But you just get a little grub in your stomach and everything's going to be all right. You feel a lot more prudent once you have something to eat. There's enough money left here so that there's still much more than we would have got if we'd taken them all in. And the way I figure... Nobody's got the whip hand. I'm waiting. But you picked it. So you started.
scratch my boot. Is it? Well, why didn't you say something about it in there? The subject never came up. You asked me, did I go back for you? And I said, yes, I did. You didn't make me believe it. You didn't want to believe it. Yes, I did. <laughs> well, you sure have a funny way of showing it. It was boiling in me. All kind of things. I had a long walk. I thought you'd skipped out on me. I hung on to that. It's the only thing that kept me going. The hope that I'd find you. And you did. I sure did. How many days you been drinking up my money? <laughs> I lost count. Ah. Hey! How'd you get out, anyway? You met up with him. That little Mexican boy wanted my boots so bad he was willing to steal me some keys. <laughs> Why'd you take it from him? I didn't. He dropped it and I picked it up. And you didn't throw it away? I didn't want to leave a trail. I wonder where I can get me one boot made. Hey! I was thinking, what if it was you that went for the gold and I was left behind in the jail? Would you ever come back for me? 